I hear a lot of guys my age and older too, who like complaining that we're going down the drain, our values in decline. They say we've ruined what was great and it's our under 25s to blame, this snowflake generation. All these younger, softer types, always eating avocados and kicking off online, how they whine without compassion, always thinking they're so special, piping hot opinions like steam out of a kettle, displaying such fragility, so sensitive and raw, shaped by trophies for competing that were given out on sports day. And I get it, some young people are lacking in compassion when they're cancelling or dragging or, or there's someone they're attacking. And when I go online these days, I do see guys get savaged, but it's not like that's all carried out by one small demographic. I've lost count of the times online. I've seen older folks retweeting, frothing full of rage over things they don't agree with. A bunch of adults blow up every day, just wailing, seething because someone's worn an outfit for a faith they don't agree with, or a mother doesn't want to hide her baby when she's feeding, or a cubicle can now be used by anyone to pee in, or a business made a sausage roll that doesn't have some meat in. I don't want to hear these strops whenever something unimportant has just changed a bit, you know, like the kind that keeps Piers Morgan on our screens as we watch him blow a fuse because Daniel Craig's been papped while out and wearing a papoose. We've got Ben Shapiro, Fox News, Jim Davidson's online. So I don't think petulant behaviour is purely for our younger types. It's not to do with age. I just think we've got a problem now in how we all communicate. Because the internet has changed us. What we want, we're giving it. Our comments being gathered like they matter and positioning ourselves as right. So if we don't like something, we can live with it or we can feel emboldened to embark upon a hissy fit and the left and yes our younger ones at times have both ascribed to this but online we've been flooded by a thousand types of whiny kits perhaps i'm one i'm whining too but what i really find amiss is calling someone snowflake just perpetuates this childishness i've worked in schools i've tied it up when kids call each other names doesn't get much done or make anyone feel that great. And I don't think these snowflakes are the ones who are afraid. The young people I meet these days, I think they're pretty brave. And I compare it with this freak out, fragility, hysterics, and anyone who's brave enough to challenge a perspective. And I wonder then, was Martin Luther King a snowflake too? Or Rosa Parks, Malala, what the suffragettes went through? Does that make each of them a snowflake? Or this label, is it used to comfort our own fears as we dehumanise our youth? I think that might be true. And it seems a little tragic when a 16 year old girl, let's say, who cares about the planet gets hounded out on Twitter by a bunch of adults panicked shouting, snowflake, it's so strange. I just don't understand it. To any future snowflakes watching this, this world is yours to change it. And when you do, some others, they will want to call you names for it. It's how it's been for centuries. The one thing you can trust is that change will come for everyone. In time, it, it just does. And some will feel concerned by this, will want to drag you down. But take your values, run with them, dig in and make us proud. Your path is hard compared to those who heckle from the crowd, but we'll adapt. Some rules should change and some statues should come down. Be proud of your compassion, your progress, your brilliance. Those who call you names are merely lacking your resilience. You are not weak and brittle and you will not bring us doom. The differences you bring will help the human race to bloom anew. I can't wait to see what's next because change is coming soon and we need it, just like we need more adults in the room.